Hello again. London is struggling to cope with its heaviest snowfall in 20 years. This was the scene just a few minutes ago, looking across the city from the South Bank. The capital's transport network is suffering massive disruption. At one stage, every London bus was withdrawn from service. London's ambulance service will only respond to life-threatening calls. Hundreds of schools have been closed. Arsenal have postponed tomorrow night's FA Cup match at the Emirates Stadium. One consolation, the congestion charge has been suspended for the day. Right, more on the transport situation in a moment, but first, Daisy Gray rounds up the snow's impact so far. Trying to get anywhere in London today is a nightmare after the capital saw its heaviest snowfall in 18 years. Up to six inches of snow has already settled in some areas and it's continuing to fall. Most London bus routes have been withdrawn from service, dozens of trains have been cancelled and nine out of the 11 tube lines are suspended or running with severe delays. Well, London really does feel eerily quiet for a Monday morning rush hour. There are very few cars on the roads and with the transport network virtually ground to a halt, the only people that are out and about are those that have decided to struggle in on foot. I think it's terrible. We've just come back from America with just as bad snow as this and it's still running. It's amazing. Yeah, I was saying this today. Um, if someone like Canada can manage it, I don't understand why we can't. But, hey, I live close enough to walk in. We're not designed for it, are we? We're not in Northern Europe. Well, we are in Northern Europe, but we're not in Northern Europe. You know what I mean? So if you had a difficult journey? That's, that's just, you know, that's just what happens. It doesn't matter. Many rail firms are advising passengers not to travel unless absolutely necessary, with southeastern and southern services completely shut. Meanwhile, on the roads, driving conditions are treacherous and motorists are being advised to take extreme care. The clockwise and anti-clockwise sections of the M25 in Surrey are partially closed because of accidents. The AA is warning drivers they risk hypothermia if their cars break down. Virtually all London buses have been withdrawn from service because of fears for passengers' safety. Last night a number of buses were involved in road accidents. It was suspended uh, in the middle of the night and it was suspended because there were absolutely treacherous conditions with buses sliding across the road and it was dangerous and what we had to do was actually take those buses back into the depots. The services, uh, we're trying to get them back and resume at the moment and on the main corridors we've got buses running again. Because of the terrible conditions, many of London's schools have chosen to close for the day clearly to the delight of some children. Many businesses are also running on skeleton staff as thousands of commuters have been forced to stay home, hitting firms already suffering from the credit crunch. It's very hard to come up with exact figures, but we do know uh, from disruption on the tubes, one day tube strikes, that it costs the capital something like £48 million in lost productivity. As I say, it's hard to say what the exact figure will be, but it will have a real impact on the London economy. And sadly, this could go on for a couple of days. Emergency crews have been working flat out because of the large number of road accidents. A London Ambulance Service spokesman said it'll now only respond to life-threatening calls as the heavy snow and wintry weather has put it under severe pressure. And there's still the threat of more snow to come. Forecasters are warning the big freeze could last until the weekend. Daisy Gray, London Today. Let's bring you the very latest now on the transport networks by joining Will Gowing live at Traffic Link. Will. Hi there, Alistair. Good afternoon. If you're heading off to the uh, motorway routes this morning or this afternoon, rather, still lots happening for the M25. The worst affected the Surrey stretch in both directions. Several vehicles uh, still stranded after breakdowns and accidents there. So lots happening for the Surrey stretch of the M25 and worth avoiding. Let's head up to Hertfordshire, the A1M. This is a scene right now, still a very snowy picture there. And we're set to see more snow later on this afternoon. But traffic seems to be coping pretty well on the A1M at the moment. Not so good, though, if you're heading towards uh, Purley. The A23 southbound is blocked off because of... Uh, heavy snow in the area uh, so big problems there long queues approaching that closure point as well uh, moving closer into the center of town at the moment if you're heading around archway north london the a1 again a pretty clear picture at the moment but uh, possibly see some really heavy queues at building up there later on this afternoon towards the rush hour uh, closer into town even still around parliament square also tower bridge uh, looking fine at the moment but uh, once again more snow expected within the next couple of hours let's get you up to date with public transport not so good there uh, very very reduced service for London buses across the capital. Also, if you're heading out and about for the tubes, Circle, Hammersmith and City Line still completely suspended. Five other lines are partly suspended. National Rail train services are experiencing severe delays and the majority of cancellations as well. That's the latest from me, Alistair. Well, very comprehensive and very helpful. Thank you, mate. Bless you. That was the traffic forecast. Now the weather forecast from Manali. 
Hello there, good afternoon. The snowfall has created travel chaos across the capital. As we've just seen, road, rail and airport severely disruptive. And the Met Office have another weather warning in place for some more heavy snow, drifting snow, that's going to affect the rush hour through this evening. For this afternoon, we're also going to continue to see outbreaks of snow and very chilly temperatures with a blustery wind as well. So pretty horrible if you're out and about. Through the rush hour, I said it's going to be pretty horrible too. Some heavy snow once again across the capital at Wilde cause some disruption. Gradually we're going to see that snowfall move northwards with clearing skies coming in from behind but that leads to a widespread frost and icy stretches on the roads. So tomorrow morning it's going to be pretty chilly first thing, icy conditions first thing as well. You're going to have to take extra care if you're out on the roads but tomorrow is a better day. It's drier, it's brighter. Through the course of the afternoon we will continue to see a few wintry showers but on the whole it's dry and bright but staying very cold indeed. Have a good afternoon. And that is it from us. London Tonight will be with you again with the very latest at six o'clock. But until then, stay warm, stay in and stay safe. I'm sure you'll find one way or another of having a very good afternoon. Bye-bye.